So in this problem, we have a baseball that is hit with a speed of 27 meters per second at an angle of 45 degrees. It lands on a flat roof of a 12 meter tall nearby building. If the ball was hit when it was 1.5 meters above the ground, what horizontal distance does it travel before it lands on the building? So this is a pretty classic type of projectile motion problem in physics. So the way we're going to approach this is by first looking at the two projectile motion equations that govern the horizontal and vertical positions of any projectile. And those two equations are as follows. So the x position of the projectile is going to be equal to the x component of the initial velocity times time. That one's pretty straightforward. The y position of the projectile is going to be equivalent to the initial height plus the initial y component of the velocity times time minus one half gravity time squared. <clears throat> so we're going to start by plugging in the values that we have. So we know that the speed, the initial speed was 27 meters per second and the angle was 45 degrees. So the first thing we have to do here is break down that initial speed into its vertical and horizontal components. So we have to take the initial x velocity and say that that is equal to the initial velocity times the cosine of the angle, which will be 45 degrees. And that'll be the same for the initial y velocity. So that'll be 27 sine 45 degrees. So now that we have the velocity broken down into its two components, we can plug those components into the equation and solve for our specific height of 12 meters. So let me make myself some room here. So we are going to say that the x position of our projectile is equal to 27 cosine 45 degrees times the time value, right? And the y position is going to be equal to the initial height, which is going to be 1.5 according to for our specific problem, plus the initial y velocity times time minus, now assuming we're on Earth here and gravity is 9.8, then one half of 9.8 is going to be 4.9 t squared. So ultimately, we're trying to figure out the horizontal distance that the projectile travels before it lands on the building. So in order for us to do that, here is the equation for our horizontal distance. In order for us to figure out how far the ball traveled horizontally before landing on the building, we need to know how long in terms of time it was traveling through the air before it landed on the building. And in order to get this time value, we need to figure out in the Y equation when the ball reached a height of 12 meters. Well, if we want to know when the ball reached a height of 12 meters, Let's just replace our y value with 12 meters and solve. So we're going to set 12 equals to 1.5 plus 27 sine 45 times time minus 4.9 t squared. So you may recognize this is a quadratic equation. And you can solve this equation however you like. I would recommend either the quadratic formula or graphing. So what I'm going to do is show a graphical representation of this equation right here. So we'll start by clearing off what's already here. And here we have a diagram that represents the vertical position or the Y position of the baseball as it travels through the air. So as you can see, there are two time values. There are two points in time where the ball reaches a height of 12 meters. It reaches 12 meters on its way up at 0.663 seconds, and then it reaches 12 meters again 
on its way back down at 3.234 seconds. Now clearly we are to analyze this point. We're supposed to use this point here because if the ball is landing on top of a roof, it cannot land on a roof if it's still on its way up. It has to be on its way down for it to land on top of the roof of a building. So the time value that we are going to use is 3.234 seconds. So if we know it takes 3.2 seconds for it to land on this building, then we now know how long it was in the air before it landed on the building. So now we have this time value that we were looking for originally to plug into the X equation. So we know that the X value, the, ver the horizontal position of the baseball at that specific time when the ball landed on the roof is simply going to be 27 cosine 45. Remember this, this entire quantity is the initial X velocity of the ball times our T value, which we now know to be 3.2 two, three, four seconds. And if you pop that into a calculator, you will get your final answer of 61.736 meters.